And before doing all this, at least they should know the land, its area, its topography, etc. But without ascertaining all this, they must have just acted like a mad individual, which resulted in the life of loss of 14 individuals. That is what EKU observed. Another thing is that the Hunyak Union, as a member of the unit of the Eastern Naga People's Organization, from 2007, we have given a slogan that Eastern area should be a peace zone. That is what we have advocated. Second thing is that from 2017, the ceasefire between Naga and the government of India, is it the ceasefire which is implemented in the true spirit Later on, in 2015 August, there was a framework agreement. I think all this agreement is to see that the Nagas are brought into the mainstream. But is it the way to bring them into the mainstream? The Konyak Union questioned here. Therefore, we feel that another thing is that a man ago, one rifleman from the same area, rifleman Kanye, he gave his life against Meliden at Manipur Empire. And for all the sacrifices that is given from this area of Konyakland, is it the right way to kill innocents? Is it a gift from security force to kill the innocent 14 civilians? This is a matter of question that Konyak Union would like to ask. Uh, I think uh, to gain the confidence of the people, I think the GOI needs inclusive approach here. Or is the country always going to hold on to military forces? to contain the issues. For the Nagas, the land, the forest is very dear to us and we will give our life for that. I feel the nation is missing the whole reality. The government of India is missing the whole reality here by using the army to till the political issue. So I think what we need to understand is when we talk of NSC and K, K stands for Kaplang. K do not stand for Konya. And I am going on record to clarify this. K stands for Kaplang, not Konya. And what the, uh, the incident that happened today cannot be just sidelined as, as any other incident that we have seen in the past. And this cannot be taken, I'm repeating myself, this cannot be forgiven in the, with the word of mistaken identity. Please know that it was a broad daylight. Unless the Indian, the 21st, uh, the 21 Bara commandos were blind. There can be no mistaken identity on that. Yes, please. Yes, 
I will reply, I will reply here. You know, this road is an approach road to the village from the coal mine to Uting village. It's a small, uh, uh, it's a small congested and not a very long road rather. It may be hardly 15 to 20 kilometers. And within a span of that, uh, the question of two check posts, check gates, it doesn't arise at all. And this is, I think, the, the, this is, I think, the, entirely the wrong information of the security force. Uh, we can go to ground zero and check that whether these two gates are available or not. And it is high time that the district administration as well as the police administration, I think they should come out with a clear statement that they, there is no check catch between this uh, uh, with, uh, in the approach road that leads to Uting village. That is a clear thing. Uh, adding to that, I think when the first gunshot happened, the president uh, the student president of Uting had actually called the administration for rescue team to come. And, uh, but the administration came very late. So I think it is about time that uh, from the police and from the administration side, I think they need to be very clear. They've seen the ground zero and then uh, to go on record and say that there are two check posts. You cannot even buy stories like that. There was nothing. There was nothing. And like reporters like all of you have gone there. You have seen it with your own eyes. And then, I mean, that is total rubbish. That shows a f the failure of the intelligent branch in the whole of the, our country. So, I mean, we should, they should bow they hate, uh, I mean, they should bow their head in shame on this intelligence going so wrong. I mean, they haven't even done their homework. In fact, and a slightly committed people member as a list of Mohanija Kwanai. Natalie Naga Indigenous Officer can be hiring IPS, IS. It will have to ask me nine Bahara committee of Banai Nase. It will have to ask me nine Bahara committee of Banai Nase. SIT is headed. I mean, Nagami stay reply could go. It to SIT, that was the demand of the Konyak uh, unit. Immediately after the incident, we submitted one memorandum to the President of India through the Governor of Nagaland, stating three, four charter of demand. One was to identify immediately the security personnel who were involved in the massacre. They mm -hmm. must be identified and booked before law. One. Two was to have an independent inquiry. The independent inquiry by the state government is already instituted and we have uh, the list of this uh, about five, five six uh, IPS uh, officers are there in the uh, investigating team. So this will, uh, the list is with us. We can see that after the conference. Now, another point we have mentioned is that to take the action, uh, to take action, to take action within 30 days, and this 30 days we are counting within 30 days, the the security personnel involved in the shooting and the action, the investigation taken by the SIP must come into public domain within 30 days. That is clear cut from uh, KU and. Last but not the least, we also submitted against to repeal the APSA, AP, uh, APSPA, that is 1958. So these are the four charter of demand we have submitted to the President of India, copy to the Honorable Prime Minister, to the Defence Minister, to the Chief Minister, and to uh, to the authority who are concerning this. So this and fourth and fifth is declared by Konyak Union as the Black Day. So we are working on that and Konyak Union is uh, all out working 
to see that justice is given at the earliest. If justice is not given in time, we are ready to go to, to the extent beyond the state government. We will take the issue to the government of India and the action must be taken within the specific time mentioned in the memorandum. No, not. See, the thing is that uh, we have submitted this and the seven days entire community morning is on now. So whatever we submitted, whatever we are pursuing, we are uh, we are we are under the uh, under seven days morning. So it will end on 13. Immediately, the. Once the seven days morning is over, the Konyak Union, we have formed different committees, some on the uh, legal point of view, some on the erection of the monolith. So this we will go ahead with that. That will be on 13. So far we have not received any reply from the government of India, but it doesn't mean that we will, our letter will go in vain. We will pursue it. Uh, adding to that, what I would want to also say is, um, we have just started in the district. It will go outside the district, it will go outside the state, and daily, let me remind you, it's not very far for us as well. The Konyak Union will also, if the government do not pay attention to our demands, then the Konyak Union will come to the government because daily is not very far for us. Sorry? About how many of them addressed the uniforms by the security forces? See, the six dead bodies, they were semi-nude, semi-naked. And it was very obvious that when the weapons and the uniform were available near the dead bodies, it was very obvious that the dead bodies, the, the naked body, they were, they were trying to, they were trying to, uh, uh, they were trying to put this uniform into the body of this, uh, this young boys. It was very obvious from, from that point of view, but uh, uh, none were put this uniform, none were put. I mean, adding to that, no, I mean, which, uh, which yeah, army the law, yeah. which security force law allows or, I mean, give the power to the army after killing the civilians or anybody for that matter to take off their clothes no i mean who volunteers that it is the 21 para commandos who volunteered to take off the clothes they did not even respect the death they took off the clothes and they were all out to put on the camouflage clothes and show that it was an attack on the militants. We can all actually say this was all fake encounter. Yeah, I think that's it. We want to thank you all for coming. Is it done? Done, done. I press conference. four December laga incident do first kiki ushi tadi first highlight kuche inga gona tamra. Idu incident opori media outlets kam kun kun pra wrong information kandishi idu ange condemn kuche. 
Aro idu press conference se konya kunyans kamba Amit Shah Home Minister Amit Shah kumbra parliament de statement ishe idu statement bi pura wrong asi gushe aro tala statement do withdraw kuri gui na demand kushe request kushe. Idu tak shaji laga press conference kunya konya kunyans kamba December four one district hall aga incident opore. Sada ibon bil TV. Amikansop Amikan Lara Kordo Sabaraki Ule Monjai Idu Nishna Amikan Kile Amikan Lara Sarandins Kan Sabanarake Ek Bar Bhavi Sabi Amikan Kile Amikan Lara Sarandins Do Sabaraki Ule Ifort Nade Aro Manu Ala Kan Bara Letra Kuradam De Kile Narukai Amikan Hotai DMZ Kan Irresponsible De Hosa Ase Tai Kan Lara Das Ase Amikan Lara Sidi Clean Raki Ule Holibi Amikan Lara Social Responsibility Do Kudi Ase Dimapur Municipal Council Kamara Kwado, Tai can be Dimapur Sabakurubula vigorously Kam Kuresi, Holibi Tai Kan Laga Sai Tebi, short for Hojai, specially marketplace in Area Kande. As a citizen, Amikan Laga Tudi VSA, Amikan Laga City to Sabarakibule. Under the banner of a better Dimapur project, DMC Kamara like minded groups are institutions such as Team Clean, Dim Green, Living for Environment Life NGO. Hello and welcome to Hornbill TV. I'm your host Aki Vito and these are the headlines. The Nagaland government will hold a special session of the assembly to discuss and pass a resolution for repealing the AFSPA. The special session is tentatively scheduled for December 20th. Prime Minister Narendra Modi hailed India's democratic values and called for strengthening global democracy while virtually delivering the national statement at the USA's Democratic Summit today. The overall air quality index in the national capital on Saturday morning slipped to 301 in the very poor category, according to the system of air quality and weather forecasting and research. Three more tested positive for the new COVID Omicron variant in today. Two from Gujarat's Jamnagar and one from Mumbai's Dharavi. India's Omicron cases tally rose to 26. And now the news in details. In protest against the December 4th and 5th killings in Mon district, a mass protest was organized in Tizit town by Tizit Naga civil societies. The protest was organized to show resentment against the lackadaisical attitude shown by the central government in the demand for the repeal of the Armed Forces Special Powers Act and the delay in justice. The Naga civil body strongly demand the repeal of the ASPA, the draconian law and deliver justice to the innocent civilians killed by the Indian Armed Forces. Now let's have a look at what our correspondent Deep Saikia had to say. Oting village the date 4 December te kundu ambush accident hoy sila ajo aji ase 11 December aru itia tak state government central government kun regiment khan ase itia tak apology namanga pora tijit town te ekta mass protest hula ase aru hornbill tv laga screen te tai to ki dekhi se mass protest rally kunto 13 civilian nijor Blood, Nijor Kun, Nijor Nabai Khan, Morija Pisate, Central Government Laga Kuntu Pera Commando Aru Kuntu Depart Regiment Pura Itiatak Apology Namangi Kine, 
এনেকা ইনজাস্টিস কাম করা পড়া খুশি নাপায় কিনে এটা মাস প্রটেস ওলাই আছে এটা ইয়াতে আলাগ আলাগ এসোসিয়েশন টিজি ইউনিয়ন স্টুডেন্ট ইউনিয়ন পাবলিক মানুষ সব আহি কিনে এনেকা জামা করে আছে আর নাগালেন্ড গেট তাক এই রেলি যাব হর্নবিল টিভিতে মখান এই টু জেড গ্রাউন্ড রিপোর্ট করে আছে আর এই কি আছে কব কে কে নিজের ভাই খান কারণে কোন সিভিলিয়ান ভাই খান থাকিছে মানুষ জানুয়ার নিচিনা আহি কিনে পেরা কামান্ড পড়া মারি দিয়া তো এটা তো এপলজি মাঙা নাই আর এই খুশি নাপায় কিনে এনেকা হাতে প্লে কার্ড লই কে আজি টিজি টাউনতে হর্নবিল টিভিতে এটা স্ক্রিনতে কি দেখি আছে এনেকা স্টুডেন্ট হবি বস্তি মানুষ হবি স্টুডেন্ট ইউনিয়ন খান মানে সব আহি কিনে এনা করে আছে আর সব পড়া একটাই কন্ডেম করেছে কোনটু কথা বাহারতে ওলাই আছে কোনটু কথা রিউমার ওলাই আছে এটা তাক ইটু জায়গাতে অমিত শাহ পড়া এসেম্বলিতে চেক পোস্ট আছে মানুকে রুখাইছিলে মরাই দিছে আর অমিত শাহ তো লায়ার আছে কই কিনে তখন স্লোগান করেছে আসাম রাইফলস হবি কোনটু রেজিমেন্ট হবি কোনটু ইমপ্লিমেন্ট পহিলা পড়া আছে আর জানুয়ার নিচিনা এনেকা আহি কিনে মরাই দিয়া তো খুশি নাপায় কিনে এটা তাক এনেকা প্রটেস্ট যাই আছে আর এই কন্টিনিউস জাস্টিস নপা তাক এই প্রটেস্ট যাবলে আছে আর নাগালেন্ডে নহয় কিনে হল ওয়ার্ল্ডে এই কন্ডেম হবলে আছে আজ এই জুই এটা জ্বলি আছে আর এই জুই কেতিয়াবি নুনুমাব হর্নবিল টিভিতে মখান এই টু জেড গ্রাউন্ড জিপ রিপোর্ট করে আছে আর টিজি টাউন লাগা এই টু ভিজুয়েলস সেন্ট্রেল গভর্নমেন্ট খান সাবি আপনি খান কিমান ইয়াতে আসফা কি আছে কিমান আর্ম সেক আছে এই রিপিল নকরা তাক এই উঠাই নলা তাক নাগালেন্ড পিপল আর নর্থ ইস্ট পিপল তো শান্তি নহব উই ওয়ান্ট জাস্টিস কই কিনে সব রাস্তাতে ওলাই আছে আর এই নিজের ডেমোক্রেটিক রাইট আছে আর ইয়াতে কি প্রটেস হয়েছে এটা তাক বাহারতে রিউমার যাব না একু ইয়াতে ভাইলেন্ট হওয়া নাই সব মানুষ দেখি পাব সাইলেন্টলি প্রটেস্ট করে আছে এনেকা যায় আছে কোন বি ইয়াতে ভাঙা ভাঙি নাই নাগালেন্ড এটা বি কোনো রোড ব্লকেজ নাই কিমান মানুষ আছে বাহার পর সবকে ওয়েলকাম করেছে হলে বি তাই খান নিজের খুন পড়া নিজের ভাই খান মরি যাওয়া তো কন্ডেম করে কিনে অমিত শাহ পড়া কোনটু এসেম্বলিতে বাইট দিছে এই তো মিছা আছে কই কিনে তখন স্লোগান বনাইছে আর এই আছে ইউনিটি এই তো কন্যাক ব্রাদার্স নহয় দুসরা ব্রাদার্স নয় অল নাগালেন্ড লাগা ইউনিটি তো আজ হর্নবিল টিভিতে দেখায় আছে আর যেটা তাক জাস্টিস নাপাব এই তো সাবি আপনি খান ডিপার্টমেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্টেন্ট
societal pressure, changing roles, lifestyle changes like a stress for manukan ke drug or substance abuse to vulnerable kurindi asi. Notice the lack of opportunities and employment development or border area for drug source kura karni notice manu vulnerable asi. Notice the lack of opportunities and employment development around border area where drug source kura karni notice manu venerable ase. Substance or drugs abuser bishi societal discrimination face kure or taikan laga health or safety be effect kure. <laughs> HIV transmission or drug use be bishi strong link ase. Notice that the HIV epidemic drugs used for a bishi spread hoi ase. Department of AIDS Control Ministry of Health and Welfare Laga report prakwado. HIV and AIDS Manipur and Nagaland Laga prevalence 1.5% aro 1.2% ase. Aro national HIV AIDS Laga prevalence to 0.34% ase. India the drugs abuse laga program or service bishi ase holy bi grassroots level tak poncha nai drug abuse laga problem to moi kan laga society te bishi dangro problem ekta ase aro drug abuse laga problem fight kuru bole aro rasta bishi lamba ase Itu problem fight kuru bole khali government aro NGOs kan ke depend kuru bole na lage moi kan bi itu problem te help kuru bole opportunities paile hesitate na kuru bole lage drug aro substance abuser kan ke life laga value janai di bole lage employment aro educational opportunities di bole lage ta kan bi manu ahi ase aro ta kan ke bi hope di bole lage Welcome back. The two survivors of the December 4th Mon District Thiru ambush who were undergoing treatment at the Assam Medical College and Hospital in Dibrugarh were said to have been recovering from their injuries. To get more updates, our correspondent Deep Saikya was in the hospital to speak with the victims and authorities of the AMCH. Mon District Laga Oting Village te dead for December te kuntu ambush unfortunate accident hoisile aru itu pishote hornbill tv te a to z ground zero report mokhan dekhai thakise aru etia moy ase moy laga pishote kuntu visuals dikhise etu ase assam medical college kuntu dibrugarh district te ase aru dibrugarh district te 4 december ambush accident hoa pishote yate dui jon ke anisile refer korisile aru aji mokhan tai Tahan ke interview kuri bo aha time te ekta khobor principal pora janai se. Tahan laga ek jon to brain operation kora hoy se. Aru ek jon ke kuntu chest lagi se le tu laga stable ekta health ahi ase koi se. To tahan itia media logo te interrupt kuri bolle allow amakhan puana ya permission puana itu pora Hornville TV te A to Z update kene ka all Nagaland te victims score khan aru. कुन कुन यात्रे विक्टिम्स थाकी से कुन कुन इंजीयर थाकी से सब अमेकान जाना बोले ट्राई करिया से आरु इतु द्वितीया पेशेंट लगा लेटेस अपडेट जानी बो निमित्त ये कोशिश करे तखान लगा हेल्थ ट्रू इतिया आगे पूरा भाल हुए ऐसे आरु प्रिंसिपल सर पूरा मोखन के एकता खबर दिया तो ताई डे टू डे नागालैंड लगा कंसर्न अथॉरिटी खान के तखान लगा खबर दिया से बेसी भाल पूरा ट्रीटमेंट कोरी ऐसे कोई से पहला लगा कंडीशन कुन तो कंडीशन ते तखान के एडमिट कोरी चले इतु पूरा बेटर तखान डेवलप हुए ऐसे आरु हॉर्नबिल टीवी ते मोखान नागालैंड ते ओटिंग एक्सीडेंट लगा ग्राउंड जीरो किमान किमान जगह ते जैसे सब जगह ते जा पिशोते आजी टेन डिसेंबर इवनिंग एट बजे से इत आसाम मेडिकल कॉलेज से खड़ा है से आरु तहान के रिपोर्ट लॉक करी बोले हाँ टाइम ते तहान लगा फिजिकल कंडीशन तो इन्हें का थका पूरा परमिशन पाना होले भी 
আনারেবল প্রিন্সিপাল স্যার মহান লগতে কর্পোরেট করেছে আর তাই মহানকে হর্নবিল টিভি কে জানাইছে ডে বাই ডে তাই ভাল পড়া ছাই আছে জিমান পারে ট্রিটমেন্ট হায়ার ট্রিটমেন্ট করে আছে আর অল্প জলদি তখন কিয়র হয়ে যাব নিচিনা ভি একটা ভাল খবর দিয়ে আছে আর এই লেটেস্ট আপডেট জানিবলে চাই থাকবি হর্নবিল টিভি থ্যাংক ইউ ফর ওয়াচিং হর্নবিল টিভি মানে হর্নবিল টিভি রিপোর্টার দীপ সাই The All Tamil Nadu Students Association, Students Union of Madras University, Naga Students Union Chennai and NCF Chennai jointly conducted a condolence program for the innocent victims of Uting village, Mon district, Naglin on 4th and 5th December 2021 at the main campus of University of Madras in Chennai. In the aftermath of the killing of 14 civilians by security forces in Mon district, the Nagaland government on Thursday decided to hold a special session of the assembly to discuss and pass a resolution for repealing the AFSPA, a government spokesperson said. The special session is tentatively scheduled for 20th December and the Governor of Assam and Naglen, Jagdish Mukhi, will formally summon it. Minister for Planning and Coordination, Land Revenue and Parliamentary Affairs, Neba Krono, told PTI. He said that the decision was taken during a meeting of the core committee on Naga political issue of the state government held here during the day. The core committee headed by Chief Minister Nifu Rio also comprises cabinet ministers besides representatives from all the political parties in the northeastern state. The special session will also have discussions on the Naga political issue, Kronu said. The Armed Forces Special Powers Act 1958 gives the army powers of arrest and detention in disturbed areas. It may be mentioned that six coal mine workers were killed at Tiru, Lower Tiru area in Moon District on Saturday in a botched up ambush by security forces. This led to clashes later in which 14 civilians, including a soldier, lost their lives. After the unfortunate killings of 14 civilians by the 21st Para Unit at Lower Tiru Village Mon District on the 4th of December, a petition to repeal AFSPA from Nagaland was started by a 27-year-old resident of Koima, Rosang Ponganea, which received massive support from all over the world. According to reports, the petition received over 91,000 signatures out of 1,50,000 signatures required at change.org in just four days since the petition was first started on December 6th. Hornbill TV spoke to Rosang Pongane himself to get to know more about the petition. Let's listen to what he had to say. Uh, so Rosang, could you please tell us about uh, when did you start the petition? Okay, I started the petition on 6th December 2021 after the voting incident. Okay, so after, uh, we, according, to, uh, according to some reports, the petition garnered about uh, 91,000 signatures out of uh, 1,50,000 signatures that were required in just four days. So maybe also know how many signatures have you gathered so far? Yeah, so we've received about, I mean, we've received about more than like 91,000 signatures over the past six days, yeah. We could see that uh, this petition has received a lot of attention and also support. So the, uh, was this support, did you expect to get uh, as much support as you're getting right now? Honestly, the numbers are way beyond what I imagined. So, like, I'm grateful for the positive re response from all the Naga people. Mm. And also, um, what was your motive behind starting this petition? The motive was to, the motive was to try to spark a change through unity amongst like, uh, like-minded people against Afpa. Okay. As we know that, you know, there are several other petitions just lying there without getting any attention also. So how can you present the voice of the cause reflected by the petition before the policy makers and the government? So, like, I expect the government to take matters into their own hands and let the fight against us, which all matters will expect. 
Okay. The police personnel who was seen hitting a man carrying a child in his arms in Kanpur's Dehat district, Uttar Pradesh, has been suspended on December 10th. Prashant Kumar, IG Kanpur, said a video is going viral on social media showing a police officer beating a man with a child in his arms. Taking cognizance of that, we have suspended the inspector and department inquiry has been initiated. घटना जो जिसमें हमारे द्वारा थोड़ी संवेदनहीनता दिखाई गई उसमें इंस्पेक्टर के खिलाफ कार्रवाई कर दी गई है इंस्पेक्टर को विनोद मिश्रा है उनको सस्पेंड किया जा चुका है उसकी विभागीय जांच चालू कर दी गई है और मैंने बोला भी है कि ऐसे सभी जगह बड़ी संवेदनशीलता का परिचय देना है इसके कारण संवेदनशीलता के कारण हमारी इमेज डेंट होती है तो जो गलती हुई है उसका सुधार पुलिस करेगी And that was all for this hour's bulletin. For more news and updates, stay tuned to Hornbill TV. Goodbye. रखीबुलेबुलेबुलेबुलेबुलेबुलेबुलेबुलेबुलेबुलेबुलेबुलेबुलेबुलेबुलेबुलेबुलेबुलेबुलेबुलेबुलेबुलेबुलेबुलेब